you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy scripture by wisdom ministries march 9th tuesday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint matthew chapter 18 verses 21 to 35 peter came and said to him lord If another member of the church sins against me how often should I forgive as many as seven times Jesus said to him not seven times but I tell you 77 times for this reason the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his slaves when he began to reckon it one who owed him 10000 talents was brought to him and as he could not pay his lord ordered him to be sold together with his wife and the children and the all his possessions and payment to be made so the slave fell on his knees before him saying have patience with me and i will pay you everything and out of pity for him the lord of that slave released him and forgave him the debt but the same slave as he went out came upon one of his fellow slaves who owed him a hundred denarii and seizing him by throat he said pay what you owe then his fellow slave fell down and pleaded with him how patient with me and i will pay you but he refused then he went and threw him into the prison until he would pay the debt when his fellow slave saw what had happened they were greatly distressed and they went and reported to their lord all that had taken place then his lord summoned him and said to him you wicked slave i forgive you all that debt because you pleaded with me should you not have had mercy on your fellow slave as i had mercy on you and in anger his lord handed him over to be tortured until he would pay his and did it so my heavenly father will also do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother or sister from your heart the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ dear friends this passage makes a crucial link between god forgiving us and our forgiving others peter asks how many times he should forgive another and offers what he regards as a very generous seven times jesus multiplies that by ever in other words our readiness to forgive should be without limit the reason is that uh, that is the way god himself acts towards us supposing we only had seven chances of being forgiven our sins in our lifetime supposing we were to confess our sins to a priest or were told sorry you have used up your quota don't we expect that every single time we genuinely repent we can renew our relationship with god jesus is simply telling us that if we are to be his followers we must act on the same basis with other people to make his teaching clear he tells the parable of the two servants the one with the huge debt is forgiven by the hand king he then proceeds the total another servant who owes what is in comparison a paltry amount as indicated in the parable there is no real proportion between the offense of our sins against an all holy god and those made against us by others and every time we say lord's prayer we commit ourselves to this mm-hmm. forgive us our sins just as we forgive those who sin against us it is indeed a courageous prayer to make do we really mean what we say do we even think about it when we pray it we could make a couple of extra comments this teaching does not mean turning a blind eye to a person who keeps on doing hurt to us forgiveness is more than just saying words it involves the restoring of broken relationship it involves the healing of both sides it may be necessary to make some proactive but totally non violent response and Forgiveness is not purely a unilateral act. It is only complete when 
there is reconciliation between the two parties. It is difficult for me fully to forgive when the other party remains totally unrepentant. Even God's forgiveness cannot get through in such circumstances. For example, we see, remember the uh, prodigal son whose healing only began when he came to his sins and returned to his father. The injured party has to work on bringing about a healing of the wound of division between both sides. Only then is the forgiveness complete. That may take a long time. Amen. May God bless us.